Here's an article from Sean King of the New York Daily News. Why progressives and liberals continue to feel like unwelcome guests in the Democratic Party. What he's talking about is there was, in week in, uh, earlier in the week in Virginia, um, two men who each voted for George Bush to become president of the United States uh, won their primaries in the governor's race there. Uh, Ed Gillespie, a lifelong Republican, won the Republican primary, and Ralph Northam, who has a record of voting Republican, won the Democratic primary. Yeah, that's right. And what his article goes into in is Ralph Northam or Northam uh, voted for Bush in 2000, 2004. And he is just a classic Republican, was backed by the Democratic Party. And this, what this article goes into is how progressives keep, you know, are completely bad mouthed by the media. There was a, uh, who was it, Joy Reid uh, from MSNBC um, can, uh, said this tweet, <clears throat> Bernie and his followers are like that college friend who stays at your place for weeks, pays zero dollars, eats your food and trashes your aesthetic. This is Joy Reid, political commentator for MSNBC, said this about Bernie. Like, and what this article goes into is brings a, a good point is, um, and Sean King's a Democrat, right? He said, I've been a Democrat all my life, but he's, he's, <laughs> you know, he's talking about how progressives have no place there. And, you know, Bernie's done more for the Democratic Party than the Democratic Party has done for him. I know a lot of draft Bernie people watch this show and, and I don't know that I blame you I, I, for just like get Bernie to run on his own. <clears throat> and I think, as I've said, I'm giving this dumb Democratic Party until 28, a year. And I'm going to see what happens. And if they keep getting behind these kind of, what, what, these, what are these, pro-choice Republicans that they call Democrat? The Democratic Party is not progressive. It's not anti-war. It's not anti-big bank. It's not anti, it, you know, it's very weak on the environment. I mean, it sort of supports it. And their whole thing is, we're not them. We're not them. We're not them. We're not, I had to vote for Hillary. You can't vote for Trump. I mean, yeah, I had this discussion with a friend of mine. I was on the wrong side of that debate in 2004 with a friend of mine who's worked in independent politics. And I was like, oh, I got to vote for John Kerry, anybody but Bush. And he's like, Cram, come on. And I can hear my argument, which is why when I encounter these friends of mine, like I just had this debate yesterday with a friend I'm just, I kind of know like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your talking points, you know, and, and, you know, hats off to Sean King for saying this. Um, and this is, this is his final paragraph. De Democrats lost the house, the Senate, the presidency, the Supreme court, and the strong majority of state houses and governorships across the country. I agree that it sure does like somebody trashed the place, but it damn sure wasn't Bernie and his followers. Anybody saying that is delusional. That's the thing that this is so hilarious and offensive is MSNBC is supposed to be this, oh, that's the, it's, it's the liberal response to Fox News is bullshit. It's just corporate Democrat propaganda. Fox News is just corporate Republican propaganda. Joy fucking read. I remember seeing this goddamn tweet. What, what, how did they trash the Democratic Party? The fact that Bernie Sanders is still getting shit for this. He endorsed Hillary Clinton. And then people are like, oh, it was lukewarm. You know, well, you're lucky it was luke fucking warm, Hillary supporters. He could have just gone, you know what? I got cheated. Fuck you. I'm going back to being an independent and I'm running for president. Who's with me? If Bernie would have run as an independent, what would have happened? Now, maybe Hillary still would have lost and then everyone would really blame Bernie. But, but what if he would have won? What if everyone abandoned Hillary and just voted for him and he won? Hillary and Trump have these ridiculous debates that SNL makes fun of and then Bernie would be, would have been shut out of them and then he's just responding to them going, well, here's my plan. Here's what I'm going to do. I have real policy. If he would have run as an independent and just gone, look at these two corporate rich kids right here. They're both big fake foundations worth hundreds of millions of dollars. It's so funny. Like, fuck the, I mean, I'm so like, fuck MSNBC. Fuck the Democratic Party. Wake the fuck up. 
this unbelievable thing that the Democratic Party is so arrogant that they just, they just, you know, that any liberal vote is they're entitled to it. It's their fucking birthright that they get any liberal vote. And anyone that votes for Jill Stein is a fucking idiot or whatever. What do you expect? They refuse, refuse. Hillary Clinton blames everybody except the person she looks at in the mirror every morning for this loss. And fuck Joy Reid. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what they do. You know? Dave Wasserman of the 538 observing the results of the Virginia primary said it like this. There's a new name for voters and most people thought of as VA's moderate Republicans a few years ago. Democrats. Yeah. The Democratic Party has just become a bunch of pro-choice Republicans. You know? They've completely shifted to the right. The goddamn Clintons dragged them to the right 25 years ago. And this is where we're at. There's no real resistance. And the fact that so many people on the left won't wake up, it's almost like a psychosis or something. I literally, this guy I'm gonna be working with on this project, we started talking politics and he brings that up and I was like, whoa, man. I'm like, what do you expect? And the problem is, is too many liberals get decent jobs. They got good college educations, you're middle class or upper middle class. And you get a got and you so so. Fifteen dollars an hour doesn't you know doesn't the minimum wage doesn't affect you. You haven't had a minimum wage job since high school. So who cares about the minimum wage? Oh, it's for high school kids, right? When the number one job in the, in America is cashier and waiter, or waitress, those are the number one jobs in America. Those people got to work two and three shifts to get by. You know, and everyone's mad at them. Oh, they didn't show up to vote. Yeah, because they were working all day and it was a Tuesday. I can't get off a shift from work. I can't ask my boss to get off of work. And if my state doesn't have early voting or doesn't have vote by mail, then I can't vote. You know? And then liberals in, in big cities with decent white collar jobs are like, oh, the whole, the whole country's stupid. And it's like, this is, that's liberal elitism. And I've been guilty of that. But I've also traveled around this country and I've, I've seen it. I'm not denying the racism of this country. It's pretty brutal, it's pretty scary out there. But what do you expect? We've eroded the public education system. We offer people no alternatives. The Republicans just come in and go, yeah, well, we won't take your guns away. And here's some xenophobic bullshit to get you all fired up. Because it's better for you to blame, let's blame that group over there. They're the reason why you lost your job. They're the reason why the factory got closed down. They're the reason, it's that group. Because you don't wanna look at the 1%, it's the one percenters that caused this. And they bought out both parties. And we got, this is more, more evidence. When I see this shit from Joy Reid, I just go, yep, more reason why we gotta say fuck you to the Democratic Party. I'm holding all I, I, I said this 2018 is the last little slice of hope I have. But what I, what I, if, if some people get primary, Diane Feinstein and the like, awesome. Then maybe the party can change one thing. We just literally vote them out. So they are not in power anymore. But my fear is the Democrats will just get behind pro choice Republicans and corporate Democrats, people that take big pharma money and all this other buyout money. And they'll just be pro-choice and we're, I'm for gay marriage. And the Democrats go, say, we won back the House and the Senate. It's like, no, you didn't. You just put in more of your fake corporate assholes. You're not gonna, there's no real change is gonna happen. And that's when somebody like Bernie needs to go, all right, I'm running, Nina Turner's my VP, let's do this. <laughs> I'm in, let's go. Um, so, man, um, thanks for watching the show, you guys. Hit the Patreon, like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribes, watch the videos, the ads. I know some of them are horrible, but if you watch them all the way through, I get paid. When you hit the skip, I don't. So just let them play while you, I don't know, brush your teeth or something. <laughs> Thanks a lot.